Okay, so Layla, so, okay, so there are some new Cybertruck updates, not the toy, but the actual thing. There's been some patents that have just been published, or, or I should say, there's been some patent applications that have just become published, and today I want to kind of review some of the things that I thought were interesting and, uh, and go over them. The first thing that I want to talk about is actually the tonneau cover itself will have an option for integrated solar panels. That's pretty sweet because A, it, it, it functions as a storage safety mechanism, but also it can charge up to 15 miles a day on the car, which means if you're out in the wild using this to do car camping or something and you're somewhere out in the desert, you can, you can hypothetically be charging the car while you're parked and if you're there over the course of multiple days, you can get a significant amount of range. But to me, I think it's actually more so to power auxiliary products. Have lights on if you're connected to a trailer, have a stove top, an inductive stove top, or, or like a refrigerator or something, or, or a boom box. I mean, the point is, I think having the solar panel array on the tonneau be an option opens up the capability of having auxiliary products and and I think that's sweet and definitely an option that's worthwhile. The other update that I think is significant is seeing where the tonneau is actually stored and how it functions because I think that this is a unique opportunity to really innovate on the mechanics of the cover. So according to the patent, the tonneau rides on a rail right here on this edge and then it tucks inside and goes right under here and this is where it is stored. The tonneau rides on a rail system and goes all the way down so that it doesn't block the rear view window which is crucial. So when the tonneau is down, you can see through the car all the way into the truck bed. Um, and it's just hidden and out of sight right here underneath everything else. And then when you need it, it just, it, it automatically comes out and rides on these rails. And it's sweet because it has waterproofing and everything so that it doesn't allow rain inside. But also in this channel here, there's another channel that allows for drainage. So any rain that comes on top of this, there's a channel here that'll easily let the rain escape down the sides, protecting whatever is inside here. And that's, that's pretty sweet. So the tonneau would be waterproof and it even has channels that allow rain water to be directioned off of the tonneau and, and keep everything inside the truck bed dry. Another thing that I think would be cool is if the tonneau is stored here uh, in an enclosed space, maybe there's the potential to add a feature like have an ultrasonic cleaning mechanism that will clean the tonneau and keep any of the debris or dirt or grime or anything like that off of it or also lubricate it to keep this thing smooth because I can imagine after a lot of off-roading and a lot of, you know, riding in the desert, there's gonna be sand stuck in the joints and it, it might make for some jamming or some non-smooth functionality. The other thing that was pretty cool from the UI patent applications that were filed is that this rear tail light seems to also be a battery indicator. It'll fill all the way up when the truck is fully charged and it'll be like down here when it's still charging. So that's pretty cool to have that battery indicator be the rear tail bar. 
I think it's pretty sweet. Another update is that the charger will no longer be down here, but it's actually going to be on the side. That's a joke. Um, if you have the option to have solar panels on the Tonneau, it'd be cool if it used its self-driving or smart summon features to automatically, ever so slightly, position the truck based on the movement of the sun. Of course, not if you're in a parking lot, but let's say you're somewhere in the wilderness and there's a lot of space and the car knows that because they could see everything. Imagine if the Cybertruck had differential turning capabilities, then potentially when you park the car and you're out in the open wilderness and the tonneau is facing south, right? Imagine this being the sun. It would be really cool as if it basically tracked the position of the sun during the day to maximize the solar exposure. So, so the design looks like it could easily be made out of like an aluminum extrusion, custom aluminum extrusion, but the joint and hinge, it's all kind of built in, which is pretty sweet. And it's very similar to like a roll up garage door. In that sense, I feel like it would be relatively maintenance free. So let's take a look at the patent drawing and try and make a 3D mock-up of the tonneau. Another interesting detail that I noticed when I was looking at the Tesla patent application for the Cybertruck UI was this image of the Cybertruck being charged and the wheels were sideways. And it's, it's a bit interesting, it could just be a joke or it could be a hint towards something else. Elon has mentioned before that the Cybertruck could float, so what if that's just some amphibious mode or something? Who knows, it, it could very well just be a joke. But in any case, it's pretty exciting stuff and I'm super, super, super excited. Let me know, let me know your thoughts and let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please gently tap that like button and I'll see you tomorrow.